welcome back to my channel yes I'm here to share with you guys something fun something that you guys can get to know me just a little bit better now back in the day when I first started doing YouTube like three ish three and a half years ago I started doing you know just random things just to get views and now it's like I don't worry about that anymore but I like to let you guys know a little bit more about me now if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys see I'm always posting movies and I'm watching I am a huge huge movie buff um, I own probably six or seven hundred movies I know it's it's a lot but I just love movies I try to at least watch one movie a day if I can I watch a lot of kids stuff but there are times where I just want to sit back and watch a movie. I, I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, but I am just in love with movies. Um, pretty much every movie I see, I just love. I just love. Um, I rarely ever go to go to the theater. When I do, I go for Girls Night, but I'm here to share with you guys my top 10 Halloween scary movies so you guys you know if you guys like them awesome just let me know what your favorite one is but it was really hard to decide my top 10 some of them might be like a top 12 but I do have other movies that I want to share with you guys that I like also so I'm just gonna do the top 10 and I'm gonna work my way down to all the way up to my number one video so you guys will have to keep track of all that so I'm gonna now this was a hard hard choice you guys it's really hard to choose I kind of watched my old video and some of them have changed a little bit but I'm here to share with you guys what I got one movie that I absolutely recommend is Practical Magic it might not take fully place around Halloween it does in certain times of the movie, but it's made about, it's just about two women that are sisters that are witches, and they accidentally kind of poison a guy while they want to bring him back, and they do, but like he's a bad guy, so they kind of kill him again, but they want to get rid of his spirits that are like haunting the house, so I really love it. I'm a huge Sandra Bullock fan, so this is a movie I absolutely love. I mean, if you guys can tell, I've watched it so many times. Um, I can't remember when this movie came out. It looks like it came out in 1998, but uh, I love this movie. So this, I would have to say, is either one of my, is in my top tens. We're just going to say it's a top ten movie, but definitely love this one. My second movie that I like is I love The Addams Family. Now, what's weird is I have the second one, but I don't have the first one. Now, I kind of consider both of those the same. Um, usually when I watch sequel or when I watch movies that have like a first and a second or a third one, I kind of watch them all together. So I have Adam's Family v uh, Values. I want to get Adam's Family. I'm just going to wait till the Halloween movies start coming out and then I will probably end up getting it. But uh, yes, Adam's Family, I love it. Now the second one kind of takes place in the summertime and the first one does take place um, you know, during the school time and during the dark area, but I just love it. I love this movie. Um, again, I don't know what to say, but it's a good, it's a good classic childhood movie. If you guys remember growing up with that, I ended up liking Halloween Town. Now, as you guys can see, this is my phone, but I end up having the Halloween Town videos. I have a digital copy of them. I have the first three. I think there's four or five. I think there's four for sure, but I have the first three because it has, it has the same character in it. The fourth one has a different character in it, but I love Halloween Town. Um, it's kind of a cheesy, it's a made for Disney TV movie, but I love it. Um, you know, they kind of realize that they're witches, so they kind of go in this world with their grandma and then like save Halloween Town. So it's super cute. I love it. If you guys haven't seen that, that's a great movie to watch with your kids. Um, the next movie, sorry, I have these written down because I will forget them. What did I do with, you guys, I'm like losing stuff already. There it is, it's right in my face. My second favorite, or my, uh, what is this, my fifth one? One, two, three, four, my fourth one. My fourth one is The Craft. I absolutely love this. I recently bought this, so I haven't watched it yet, but... I used, I know you guys are going to be weird, but when I was in sixth grade, I used to be into witchcraft. I was always trying to do, you know, th thick as a, or light as a feather, thick as a board. I even tried doing that. Like, I got really into weird things starting in sixth grade. 
Um, but I love the craft. I just love it. I don't know why, but it's just kind of cool. And I had a huge crush on Skeet Ulrich when he was in this movie and in Scream. So, and these kind of movies were made around the same time. So, I was just like, now it's like, what was I thinking having a crush on him? But I don't know. I just loved it. So, definitely try this out if you guys are into, like, witchcraft and stuff. It's like one girl's like a new girl and they kind of just become cool. But then there's a huge fight at the end and they kind of lose their friendship with each other. But if you guys like... Something like that. My s fifth favorite movie is going to be Scream. I love Scream. I could watch this movie all the time when I was a kid. I know this movie came out like in 1996, I think. Um, yeah, 1996 is when it came out. I was in sixth grade when it came out. I first saw it for, like, back then you rented movies and they weren't out yet. So you rented the movie, but you had to wait even longer for the movie to come out to buy. It was only available at, like, Blockbuster and everything. And I'm just like, I want this movie. And I did not know that it you had to wait months after the movie was released at the video stores to get them. So I'm just like, whatever, because I remember shopping at Target looking for the movie Scream. So I had this movie on VHS. I had all this. I had one, two, and three. Now there's a fourth one, but I love the original three. The fourth one's still good. I own the fourth one, but uh, I just, I love all the Scream movies. It's my favorite. Like, it's not like gory. It's not... It's it's kind of scary. I wasn't scared. It takes a hard, it takes a lot for me to get scared, but I don't like gory movies. I just can't stand some of those gory movies, but I did like this one. So, this is a hard choice to make this my number 5, but you know what? I wanted to share with you guys on that. Now, this is a very hard choice to choose from, okay? Beforehand, I made this my number 8. But I'm really liking the new It movie. So we're just going to kind of combine these together. So my... You know what? I don't even know what I'm doing. I think I got ten movies. We're just going to say this is my fourth and... Or fourth and... I don't know, you guys. I'm just losing my mind. I'm not thinking straight. I even had this written down, but I didn't number it. Why couldn't I number it? But It... I want to say I love it. I mean, I love I love the first one. I watched it back when I was a kid. I mean, this came out in 1990. I think I didn't watch it until like five, six years after it was made. But I remember everybody saying, oh, it's so scary. It's so scary. And I'm like, what's so scary about it? Like, I never got scared. This stuff doesn't scare me. But then I saw this movie, and I saw it in theaters, and both of my friends who saw it with me, they're like, I'm not going to see the second one. I'm not going to see the second one. And I'm like... Oh man, I need to find somebody to go see the second one with me. But I actually really liked the It movie. Um, I'm so excited for the second one to come out, but we gotta wait another year for it to come out. So definitely check these guys out. If you want something that's not as scary, check out this one. But this one's kinda, it's kinda, you know, this, the clown does scare you, but it's up to you guys. But definitely check those out. My fourth top favorite movie is Double Double Toil and Trouble. Yes, it's a Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen video. I love this video. I even, I have a lot of their videos actually. I was a huge fan of them growing up. Um, I can watch this movie all the time, but sometimes it's just like, eh, it kind of gets old because I, like, I remember it word for word for word. That's how many times I've watched this movie, but I definitely love it. This is a great movie to watch with your family in case you guys want, you know, something to watch with your family. But yeah, definitely check out that. Now, my second and uh, my second and th second and third choice was kind of hard to choose from. But we're going to do Casper. Casper is my third choice. I absolutely loved Casper growing up as a kid. I had a huge crush on Devin Sawa who played Casper when he was the human form, but I absolutely love Casper. This is a great, again, another great family movie to watch. Um, I was just so excited to finally get this movie. It took me a while to get it, and then I'm like, why don't I own the movie Casper? So I finally got it, but I just remember watching this like crazy. And back when I was a kid, I was one of the people who always got movies like right away. So I was always bringing them to school to watch, but I remember, you know, watching this movie in school when we were little, but yes. And then the Lost Boys 
is my number two favorite movie. I am just obsessed with this movie. I love vampires in general. I love 80s movies because I'm an 80s kid. But I just love this movie. I don't know if you guys are into it. It's not like super scary. There is kind of a bad part at the very end of the movie when, you know, the vampires are getting attacked. But I absolutely love it. I like the plot. You know, it's just, it's just a classic. It's one of those classic movies that everybody has to see to enjoy it. And then you guys know what my favorite all-time movie is for Halloween? Hocus Pocus. I absolutely love this movie. I remember having this movie on VHS and then I'm like, why don't I own it on uh, DVD? So I got it right away. Part of me even wants to get it on Blu-ray with a digital copy just in case. But I absolutely love Hocus Pocus. If you guys, I haven't posted this video yet, but I want to. So if, by the time you guys watch this, you'll probably see the video. But I ended up getting Pop Funkos of the Sanderson sisters, so I'm pretty excited to put those on display for this Halloween. So definitely love that, but huge, huge, huge fan of Hocus Pocus. I actually want to get a Hocus Pocus shirt to wear for this fall, so I'm definitely looking into something like that. But yes, that was my top 10 videos, but I also have a huge pile of videos that I want to share with you guys that I didn't make the cut, but maybe you guys, you know, remember them, but Yes, I know, I know, I have a lot of movies. I just am obsessed with movies. But some movies that you guys definitely want to check out if you guys are in that mood just to watch Halloween or scary movies or just kind of just bum around. Cabin Fever. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird movie, but I like it. I, I've been wanting to watch it lately, but it's like where they get infected and then they kind of all kind of just kind of yeah, it's like your, it's about their flesh like rotting and stuff, but definitely check out Cabin Fever, Jeepers Creepers, Jeepers Creepers, where'd you get those peepers? So it's about this like thing that if it wants what it wants, it'll take what it wants and it kind of just like eats that body part and then it grows it, but it's an okay movie. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it is kind of a messed up movie. It's got Justin Long in it. Here is what movie was hard to make the cut, Teen Witch. It may not take place around Halloween, but it's a witch movie, and it's an 80s movie, which I love. I love singing the song, never gonna be the same again. Yes, Teen Witch, that's a definitely, you know, Halloween type movie you should watch. This made my cut last time, but not this time. Ghostbusters, I just recently watched the newest Ghostbusters with the girls, but I do love the Ghostbuster movies. I definitely want to start watching these. I actually like the second one better than the first one from what I remember growing up as a kid, but yes, I'm just in all these kind of moods. Another movie that I actually like and I can't wait to watch it again is 13 Ghosts. I remember seeing this in theaters when I was a, uh, younger. This movie came out in 2001, so I was a freshman, or no, I was a senior in high school when this movie came out, so I was pretty excited to see that, but it's basically like this family that moves into this house, and this guy who owns the house has been like collecting ghosts and stuff while they let the ghosts free, so they gotta like survive. This movie I just watched the other day. It's not really a Halloween movie, but it kind of is a little bit scary. It involves aliens. The movie is Signs. Love it. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, which I love a lot of his movies, but it's the house. It's this family who kind of gets, you know, the aliens are around and they might like a duck dome and all that fun stuff. Edward Scissorhand. Now, this is a great movie. Now, it also does take place around uh, Christmas time, but when I think of Edward Scissorhands, I think of. Um, Halloween so if you guys are interested in that go for it I've had this movie for a while but I love Edward Scissorhands now some of you guys may or may not think this is a good movie but House of a Thousand Corpse I saw this movie back when I was like 18 it is a weird movie I like Rob Zombie I don't like all of his films but this is probably one of the only Rob Zombie movies that I like but it is, it is kind of weird. I'm just going to say it is kind of weird. There's kind of gross stuff in it. But I still like it. I've been wanting to watch it again. Now, I don't have the first Final Destination movie, which is weird. But I do have, like, the second and the third one. But definitely check out Final Destination. It's, like, where they can, like, see what happens. And then they stop it. And then, like, they're, it, they still get killed later on. 
So, yeah, I know. Next weird movie is American Haunting. Um, this is about this girl who gets, like, possessed. Now, I had to watch this movie several, several times to understand what the heck is going on. I finally figured out in the end it's something to do with her father. But definitely check it out. I didn't want to spoil it, but if you guys haven't watched this, like, it's just, it's, it's really hard to understand. The movie I was obsessed with when this movie came out was The Ring. Now this came out in 2003. I was so excited to see The Ring. Now there is a Ring 2, which is not as good as the first one, but I really like it. I haven't seen any of the new ones at all, but I'm just really into the classic, the movie The Ring. And then the next movie I definitely recommend is The Others. I love this movie. It's about like this mom and her two kids, and they feel like they're getting haunted. And it, it's a really good twist. It's a really good twist. You guys will have to definitely see what happens. But yes, that is all like my top 10 and all the Halloween movies I can like let you guys know. Um, I'm just so excited to share with you guys, you know, things to get me to know me. Definitely follow me on Instagram so you guys can see what videos I put or what videos I'm watching and stuff. A lot of you guys love it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be definitely doing more of these kind of videos. I'm going to be doing a Halloween or I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite movies. I'm also going to do a top 10 Christmas movies. I feel like, you know, just get people out there, start relaxing. And if there's any good deals on movies for Halloween, Christmas and stuff, definitely, you know, check them out. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, you know, top 10s of something or whatever, please let me know. I'm here to share with you guys more items to get to know me a little bit better. And I will see you guys all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.